The average person is said to spend 15 minutes in the bathroom. Why not take advantage of that time and learn something new? Presenting the 15-minute podcast on weird facts, crazy details, and funny particulars that you'll be able to enjoy while you're taking a sh- Well, on your free time. Welcome to The Shit with Sam Butler. Welcome to another episode of The Shit Podcast. I have a special guest, Israel Adrian. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing fine. Hey, How about th- you? Good. Thanks for being back. I appreciate you being here. We yeah, just did the episode. For having me again. <laughs> we did the episode in Spanish talking about Harley Davidson motorcycles. Yeah. If you haven't listened to it, go ahead and listen to it. Um, this is kind of like backtracking a little bit because uh, um, the idea for the episode on motorcycles actually actually came from um, this episode, which is about the bicycle. Okay. Now. Um, I was in New York last week, and by the time this airs, it'll be like two weeks ago I was in New York, <laughs> and uh, it was incredible because uh, everything's gone up in price like post-pandemic, right? When you used to go to New York, um, you could get an Uber for about 20 bucks anywhere you wanted to go. Well, this time around, the basic Uber was like $40, oh, shit. And, and, and it caught me off guard. I wasn't prepared to spend... $40. And then if you looked at some of the distances that I had to go to do my shows, they're only like two miles apart, you know, a mile or two uh, in distance. It's a little too far to walk. And so then um, I lucked out because in New York City right now, they have all of these city bikes that are for rent and you rent it with your Lyft app, right? And they have different kinds of bicycles. They have regular bicycles, and then they have bicycles with electric pedal assist. So when you pedal, there's a little mm-hmm. electric motor that helps it go faster. And it was only like $6 to rent a bike and go across town and then park it in another parking spot. But those are those bikes are Lyft-owned then? Uh, what's that? I They're, mean, those bikes are from Lyft, from the app? They're said? from Citibank. And they're called city bikes, and Lyft manages all of the transactions. Oh, okay, okay. So, but they're not actually from Lyft. They're not from. Okay, okay. it's like a, it's like the bird scooters and stuff like that. You, you just hit the QR code, it unlocks the bike, and you can take it, right? So, (laughs) I remember uh, I was, uh, I was over in uh, um, Penn Station, and I had to go like two miles, and I had my luggage, so I just put my bag on top of the bike and I strapped it down because it had a little strap there and I'm riding with this bag on the on the handlebars <laughs> and I made it I made it to the comedy club like in <laughs> like in, like in 10 minutes I just can But, picture you riding a bike oh I'm pretty good at riding a bike <laughs> yeah <laughs> and uh, as a matter of fact um, it was I've never really I've never played Grand Theft Auto But if I could imagine what it was like, <laughs> it was a lot like riding the bike in New York because I kept swerving and missing people. And when there wasn't cars, there was people crossing the street. It was amazing. It was like, man, if you want to play Grand Theft Auto in real life, just run a bike in New York City. It's crazy. Yeah, But I mean, minus all the guns. All the guns. I, I mean, I'm from Police Texas. <laughs> it would have been nice to have a gun. <laughs> <laughs> but but it was a lot of fun getting to the comedy club. And once I did that, I got there really fast. I wasn't really tired. It wasn't like I walked two miles to the club. I just rode a bike, and it was and it was pretty pretty efficient. So I mm-hmm. thought, well, let's talk about the bike because the bike is like an amazing. I actually, I, I don't know if you know this, but I like cycling i i'm not like one of those guys with the with the cycling shorts or anything like that but Thank God. but but i know uh <laughs> but i do have a, a beach cruiser that i ride around my neighborhood all the time i look like debo from from next friday <laughs> <laughs> you know from friday yeah. <laughs> you know i'm a big guy on a bike but i enjoy riding my bike matter of fact i even had one modified with a with a, a two cycle engine so that i can come to what is in it and i come to the studio sometime um on my bike and i'll cross the bridge real quick get here shoot my podcast and then i can ride right back over because uh, because as a gas can uh, i don't have to like wait in line with everybody Mm -hmm. you know so bicycles have come a long way and so that's one of the things that i wanted to talk about i mean the bike the bike actually was invented uh, by a german named carl von dreis and he was the guy who's credited with the bike Uh, being what we know as the bike today, 
There was okay. there was other versions of the bike. They didn't have pedals. They didn't have. I mean, it was mostly like a scooter. But now uh, you have the bike, and it was known as the Velocipede, the Hobby Horse, the Dryzine, uh, the Running Machine, and this was like accepted as the bike. And you've seen you've seen pictures of first bikes where they had the big wheel in the front. I don't get why they would call it Running Machine. I think that's. <laughs> exactly the opposite of what well what it's that's. like you're running i guess i don't know <laughs> <laughs> well but, i mean uh, i can picture myself running like this you know yeah <laughs> it's just a little weird that didn't take very well uh i said that the people didn't really enjoy it so in the 1860s different french inventors including pierre lament I, i'm saying this wrong pierre michu and ernest michu developed prototypes with pedals now attached to the front wheel. Okay. And that's the big bike that we've seen, the big wheel in the front and oh, the yeah. wheel in the back. And those were called bone shakers because they were really rough to ride. Some of the first yeah. bikes were made out of wood, you know. Um, so there's a lot of weird facts about bicycles. 364,000 bicycles are produced daily. Daily? Daily. 364,000. That's 15,000 bicycles per hour or 253 a minute or four bikes per second. That's incredible, right? Yeah, yeah. it's much more than I would have mm -hmm. ever imagined. 47,670 bikes are being sold daily. Every How two many? 47,000. Okay, it's 50, a lot less than... And that's being made. That's every day they're being sold. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, if you compare it to the ones being made, it's like, what, yeah. 10%? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, it's, it's still yeah. a lot. I mean, during the pandemic, you couldn't get bikes. You'd go to the stores and there would be no bikes. Well, I uh, guess because no people, one really had a need to. People were buying bikes. They found out that you could ride your bike during the pandemic and people were buying all the bikes that they could. Wow. You know, um, I know that in my house alone, I probably have five bikes really? between my bike, my my kids bikes, my modified. I, I have five bicycles at least, you know, Man, since um, mine got stolen, I haven't gotten <laughs> a new one. <laughs> I mean, I, I want one, but they're uh, a bit expensive. And now, I mean, yeah. I'm now sorry. that you say that dude now you uh, made me sad bro yeah, I mean, <laughs> you made me sad first man i mean <laughs> i think someone's getting a bike for christmas <laughs> <laughs> um the first bikes were created in france but its modern design was born in england so finally they came up with hey let's make bikes with the same size wheels and okay, so the idea was originally German. Mm -hmm. The design you said was French, French, and, and what and, from England? And then, and then the design that we know now with the chain and the that was English. That's like the start of a joke, man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> a German, an Englishman, and a Frenchman walk into <laughs> a bar. They all walk into a bar. No, they, <laughs> they all, all bike into a bar. <laughs> no, they all walk into a barn and they ride their bikes out. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Um, so uh, the bike was introduced to China about 100 years ago, right? So now that country has half a billion bikes. That's one bike, <laughs> that's one bike for every two residents. Yeah, that's right? exactly what I was thinking. 5% of all the trips in the United Kingdom are made by bicycle. 5% of what? 5% of all transport is bicycles. Oh, okay. In the UK, right? Okay. In the United States, this is lower than 1%, right? And, that, and who knows why we're fat. But <laughs> in the Netherlands, it's 30%. 30% of all transportation is bicycling, right? Wow. Seven out of eight people in the Netherlands that are older than 15 have bikes. Man. So in the Netherlands, would be the eighth one. You'd be the, the, yeah, you're that one guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm that one guy. <laughs> yeah, the fastest measured speed of a 
of driving a bicycle on a flat surface is 133 miles, uh, 133.75 kilometers per hour. Wow. Right? A bike prototype that was designed in the 1970s was the BMX, right? Which is bicycle motocross. Um, it was a cheaper alternative to motocross races, and now it's a big sport. It's the first time I know. I'm I'm finding out. I'm, I mean, what BMX what, means? What BMX means? <laughs> I'm just. It's it's bicycle motocross. Bicycle motocross. Yeah. So <sighs> in the 70s, motocross was a real popular sport, and not everyone can afford a, a motorcycle. So they made these bikes that were tough and that you could do tricks on. Now I'm wondering what the rapper DMX stands for. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those things you never wonder and then you find out and you it's like, out, yeah. now my whole life is different. Yeah. Bicycle <laughs> uh, Cross. Wow. Okay. Of course, there was the, the very first uh, bike was called the Bone Shaker mm -hmm. and the English version of it was called the Penny Farthing and Rover Rover safety bicycle that's because it had the tires at the same time mm. um, there's a billion bicycles being used right now around the world a billion a billion that's one seventh uh -huh. of that's the population I was thinking, but not necessarily by people or it has to be no, by people I, because yeah, yeah. if you I mean wait half of that could be just in China <laughs> yeah I mean, it could be like half of the people using bikes right now could be all in China. And I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you that um, I've been to New York several times. This was the first time that I saw so many people on bicycles. It was insane because there's there's bicycles now that are electric, and they have an electric battery and they go really fast. And so you see all the delivery people. Uh, riding the like the Uber Eats and and all the DoorDash guys, they're all on those more on those electric bikes and they're going pretty fast down the road. There's a lot of designated bike lanes. One of the things that I really thought was amazing was that they actually had like a bike road that was away from the street that you could ride on this road and there was nothing but people on skateboards, uh, roller skates and bikes. And bikes. And but but I I went all the way down Manhattan down this bike road, so. It's becoming more popular, um, and I think it has to do with it being green and being and people being more conscious about it. They say that bicycles save over 238 million gallons of gas a year. Wow. 238 million. Um, I think it's cool. I mean, like I said, I, I ride my bike. The, the biggest concern with riding a bike in El Paso, Texas, is exactly what you said, is you park it outside the store and you walk out and it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think that's the that's the biggest fear. But that's, I really, I really, I have a German Shepherd, and and she needs to burn a lot of energy. So I tie her leash to the to the seat, and I take off, and she runs right beside me the whole time. By the time we get back to the house, she's like ready to go chill out. Uh, you know? Man, since my magic bike, I just don't. I just <laughs> haven't gotten a new one. You haven't gotten another one. Yeah, it just disappeared like that. <clears throat> you can actually. <laughs> Uh, move three times faster on a bike with the same amount of energy as walking. So it's a three to one ratio, which is pretty good. I mean, mm -hmm. I, like I said, I got, I, I rode a bike a lot in New York this time around. Um, and in one of the days, the roads were slick because it had rained the night before. And I remember I even kind of like, as I made the turn, it kind of like peeled out a little bit. And I was like, wow, I'm, uh, that felt like I was a little kid again riding a bike. <laughs> But you saw people dress nice, where you know riding bikes, and it's it just becoming a more popular form of transportation. Yeah, it's something yeah. you just don't imagine when you when you're not used to seeing people yeah. in bikes. Then you see them, and they're like, well, like you said, dress nicely, and it's like, whoa. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 it was amazing to me, and and for the first time. In my career as a comedian traveling around the country, I found that it was a useful form of transportation for me because it was accessible everywhere I went to a point where I said, man, next time I come to New York, maybe I should bring my own bike, you know, but that's, it's kind of hard to do on an airplane, yeah. but it's one of those things that you go, it's not so bad. Everything's like a couple of miles away and you don't have to sit in traffic. Besides you know? with the money you're, you're saving, 
by not using by not using the services. I mean, uh, it, I mean, forty bucks an Uber. If yeah. you take that into account, and then you say, okay, how much is it really to bring my bike? Maybe uh -huh. maybe it balances out. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you that the Uber ride from Manhattan to LaGuardia Airport, which LaGuardia is in Queens, the Uber ride was like sixty five dollars. So that's sixty five dollars each way. You know, and then you add all the traveling. And of course, there's the subway. The subway is two dollars and seventy five cents or two dollars and fifty cents. It's not that expensive, but you still have to walk to the subway station, uh, walk down some stairs, get on the train, uh, ride the train, go back up. And some of the train stations are two or three stories below the ground. In other words, they stack the trains. Besides, I I mean, I don't know myself, but I assume it must be really crowded, right? Uh, not all the time. Uh, it's not as crowded as, as you would think. Uh, it just okay. depends on, on the peak hours, I guess, that you or where you're going. But it, it, the train isn't bad. It's just for me to, to grab a bike and go two miles was easy. Fucking and, Hollywood men, they're a bunch of liars. I yeah. thought it was always crowded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, some, sometimes it is, but not always. Uh, the most famous bicycle race is the Tour de France, which was established in 1903. Uh, yeah. And it's still driven each year when a cyclist from all over the world uh, partake in this three-week event, which finishes in Paris, which m must be amazing, except I, I'm not into biking that much to where I would even think about <laughs> doing something like that. You know, um, I think biking is great. I'm more of a recreational guy that I'm going to go enjoy it uh, in my neighborhood. Now, this is this is uh, a couple of the weird facts that I found. Okay. Um, um, that I thought was, I mean, there's so many. I mean, the longest bike is 67 feet long, made in Australia. You know, I mean, there's just, uh, it's just, there's so many things done with bicycles. But the thing that I found that was the most uh, outrageous and um, uh, innovative is that there's a bike called the Paravello. Okay, let me stop you right there. The most outrageous thing I think is, That they made a 67 feet bike, <laughs> like why? <laughs> to 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 break records, just but, for that. Yeah, just for that. But it had to be able. To, it had to be rideable. Yeah, yeah, I guess. But who wants to ride that? <laughs> I mean, that's outrageous to me. You yeah, know yeah, why? Yeah. You... People do outrageous things. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Keep yeah. going. So there's a bike called the Paravello. It's okay. the first flying bike. There's a bicycle that actually flies. And the way it works is you have a regular bike that has a trailer attachment. On that trailer attachment is a fan. And that fan blows air and you have a parachute. And you can actually fly this bike uh, at 25 miles an hour up to 4,000 feet in the air. And it's and it's and it, what's innovative about it is that it folds small enough to fit in the trunk of a car. So you can actually have uh, a bicycle aircraft to uh, fly around 4,000 4, feet in the air, which is pretty high. I mean, that's... Yeah, I mean... Uh, wow. Right? That's as tall as a building, yeah. maybe. But wait, there's more. <laughs> They just came out with an electric version of the bike, which is completely different but it was made by, by an aeronautical. It's called the Fly B, and it, it's pretty much uh, like an airplane casing, maybe lightweight fiberglass, mm -hmm. and you ride a bicycle to get it going, and then it flies with electric motors. And you can fly that, and that's green. And so those are the two new things that you can do is you can get a bike that has a parachute and flies, You have one that has wings that fold up and fits in your garage. It's the kind of stuff you see when when they're making like movies and things like that, trying to show how the Wright brothers were trying to yeah. invent a plane. Like I, all the outrageous inventions they went through first mm -hmm. or other people and it's like, hey, now they're here. Well that's exactly that's exactly what the Fly B uh, creator said. They said, Hey, the Wright brothers started making bicycles. It eventually made the plane, and so. Uh, so I will start making planes. planes, and then. Well, it's a I'll it's an electric bicycle. powered ultralight aircraft adapted to modern lightweight recumbent tricycle frame, 
combining the best of both worlds, bicycling and ultralight flying. Uh, you can pedal around town or extend the wings and fly anywhere ultralight operations are permitted. Call now. Call now. <laughs> Get your fly bee now. And that's it. I mean, that's it for this episode of The Shit Podcast. Uh, talking about bicycles, there's so much information out there. Um, we recommend that you look it up. It's very interesting. And, of course, if you can, ride your bike. I mean, be safe out there. Uh, there's a lot of crazy drivers, so try and avoid uh, bad traffic situations. But uh, I know I've been enjoying riding bikes, so that's why I decided let's do this episode. Also, keep your bike safe. Yeah, get a lock. <laughs> get yeah. a good lock for your bike. <laughs> and with that, thank you for joining me on this episode of The Shit Podcast. Thank you for reminding me. And uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, where can people find you on social media? Uh, you can find my podcast, which is in Spanish, but I mean... Say it, man. Yeah. It's a uh, Sample y Sencillo. Actually, Sample's in English. Sample? <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. Sample y sencillo. sencillo. And yeah, you can find me there. And there are all my personal... Uh, there's all my personal social media. And all right. That's it. And you can find us as Está Cagado Podcast on all the platforms uh, for podcasts or Tu Amigo Sam on YouTube, and I'm also Tu Amigo Sam on social media. That's T-U Amigo Sam. Thank you guys for joining us. That wraps us up for this episode of The Shit Podcast.